Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 8th to the 14th and welcome back. Uh, I had to turn these cards around because they're for the extended and I hope you're well. Also, I'm using the modern tarot and um, that's this one and this is the Archangel Power Tarot deck. So welcome and we are still in Mercury retrograde until the 15th and then we'll have a tell but it's going direct on the 15th of May. Also I'm using the dice as for lucky numbers, dates, times, see what resonates to you and the um, zodiac signs which could be more uh, could be highlighted the ones that are already in your reading. So welcome back. So you could be more sensitive still because we are we had that full, full new moon I mean uh, the first new moon after the spring equinox and it's a very important moon because it's the first new moon in the uh, first month of the astrological calendar as I explained in your reading last week. Now overall I think you've got a good reading coming in except for one bad card. The overall energy this week is really magical especially um, today since I've done the other half. It's really positive. You come in with the two of wands so this means that you could be making plans for the future and you could be partnering up in romance or in business. Two is definitely also trying to balance things so definitely you are trying to make plans perhaps you're making plans to go on a holiday or on a trip but let's see what the cards say there is a new beginning um, in the air as you've got the ace of wands there's new leaves coming out it is spring the trees are blossoming with their leaves as well it is really getting green so you could be starting a new job, a new passion. This can be with a person or a, a hobby, um, but definitely um, something new. You are going for what you want because that's what the ones stand for. Going for what you want, making plans, being constructive, being logical, being strategic and taking those plans into action. But definitely your heart might be going boom bidi boom bidi boom ten to a dozen as new love could be entering in but next to the passion card we have got the three of swords this could mean loss hurt upset stress sadness getting depressed so get out of your shell my darling and don't wear your heart on your sleeve share your 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 um depression or your sadness and it will lighten your load of burden. Three means being creative and productive. Yes, you are starting something, so don't hang around in the negative. Let go of the negative, learn from it. Time, it takes time to heal. It might take something up to a couple of months to a year, two years, um, but it's up to you. If you are sitting down in the doldrums and behind the geraniums, nothing is going to happen. The life will go on, but you not you are not getting on with it. So definitely this can be a loss of a loved one. This can be loss of a job. This can be a loss of a hobby or money or somebody might have um, coaxed you out of something with temptation. So this could be a loss of a friendship this could be a loss of a pet um, so definitely there's different types of loss a lot of readers also say there's a third party in the in the romance sector so forewarned is forearmed uh, so if this hasn't happened yet with this new passion then be on your guard if you meet somebody, make sure that they're single and they're available so that you do not get hurt. That's why I'm warning you beforehand if it hasn't happened yet. Anyway, 
family is very important to you. Somebody in the family could be losing some, some, someone or something, could be losing their job. It doesn't have to be you because family, the family card is lying next to the three of swords. So get ready to help out by talking or listening, giving them a listening ear. Perhaps you might have been through a big loss in the past and you know what it feels like, then you can definitely be a great help by being a listening ear and share your experiences and you can give advice if they ask but never put your advice um, out there be without being asked. People that are hurt sometimes want to withdraw and retreat so they can heal but do tell them and let them know that you are there for them because you know what it feels like. If you want to share your experience, then do so, but ask if they would like to hear how you dealt with it. The Ten of Pentacles means happy families, but because the Three of Swords is there, it, uh, like I said, it will take some coaxing and working through it, whether it's you or somebody else. No, this is also a good opportunity to visually show you that there's always people around you, family or friends, that love you and trust you and will help you to no end. Don't sit on the swing. This is the tire in the tree. It's made for the children to swing on. Don't sit on the swing or don't sit on the fence. Do it and say what you're doing and do what you say. Be clear, be transparent. Money could definitely be coming to you. This can be a promotion, a wage rise. If you are partnering up in business, then you could be getting a lot of clients because family and friends will uh, do mouth-to-mouth -mouth advertising for you, saying that you are a family person, you're a hard worker, and you are absolutely passionate about what you do and you'll always be there. You're a great businesswoman or a great businessman, but you also understand the concept of saving money and spending it at the right time in the right place for family and with family. Some of you could be getting engaged, getting married, starting a family, expanding the family or the home and getting it ready for the summer. Some of you might have the spring clean bug. Definitely you could be going on holiday or you could be moving home. Like I said, there is definitely new, um, new beginning and completion, tennis completion. This is a one and this is a one. This is the angels and the divine or the cosmos showing you that there is a doorway to step through that they are bringing in for you an opportunity. All the aces and the four of cups are the cards with the opportunity from the cosmos or the divine. Definitely, this is um, the six of swords is confirming that there is an end, there is a completion and you're moving away from difficult times. This could be um, not such a happy time of because it could be a, lo a loss, you could be getting divorced, especially if there is a third, par uh, third party trying to put a wedge between you and your partner or you and a, a, a good mate, a soulmate, I would say. I dare to say it. So be careful, forewarned is forearmed. You're moving away from rough waters, going to quieter waters. The sun is rising for you. You could be going on holiday uh, with the Ten of Cups and this and also moving home. You could even be going on a cruise. This means that you could also be crossing water if you're not going on a cruise. You could be crossing water via a bridge. Now we have darkness. Yes, it might be a dark time for you with the, uh, a loss, um, but after darkness comes light. After night comes day and you're moving away from the darkness so long you come into action. Darkness, look at the light behind that moon. It's like that eclipsed moon we've just had. 
so definitely secrets could be revealed you could find out somebody is been cheating on you or has been gossiping about you with the three of swords here in the uh, reading six also means that you're more than halfway in a situation or a, a project wow you're definitely balanced as well you have the uh, libra you've got the scales so libra yes you are balanced now six also means balance so there could be a libra coming in actually you've only got the fire signs aries leo or sagittarius and you've got an eight and an other eight so these are double numbers that the angels are giving you like the two ones you're in your power money could be coming to you also confirming the ten of pentacles promotion wage rises a lottery ticket an inheritance because the ten of pentacles also means family money you could be starting a family business perhaps you are partnering up with your dad or your mother and starting a family legacy number four is uh, stability and productivity is coming in this could be the eighth day of the eighth month that is a very significant day that is a porthole so it might be now till then you could be um, uh, living with the family or having uh, uh, starting up the business with the family and opening up in August the 8th on that special porthole now there's a special name for that uh, date and I've forgotten it I'll have to look it up but it's a very significant date or you could be eight minutes past eight this could be also eight eight on a lottery ticket that will bring success and you're in your power like i said you're more than halfway in a situation so definitely use your power wisely scorpio and come out of your shell don't hang in the negative stay um, active and be alert on what is happening around you because the divine is coming in and bringing you an opportunity take care stay safe and be blessed thank you